Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about how do you find low competition, best long tail keywords quickly. Before we jump into the video, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump right into this and the tool that I use to find the long tail keywords is long tail pro and yes i'm gonna have a link in the description below the first link so you can check it out so let's jump right into this uh, i'm gonna log into my account let's sign in and basically you want to go under keyword research there are a lot of interesting tools this uh uh or features this tool has the serp analysis the rank tracker backlink analysis so many different things you can do with this tool so first thing you want to do is i would recommend adding your website or maybe if you're doing it for your client add your client's website so the way to do that is we're going to click right here on this area and add a new project i'm going to call it isocialu that's my website add it the reason for this is when you add your domain name then this tool can find keywords, the low competition, best keywords, the long tail keywords relevant to your domain. So you actually have a chance to get ranked. That's why. So I'm going to enter my domain. You see right here. So right now, if I do not add my domain, so it seems like the I need to be below 25. If my score, and we'll talk about what the, these scores are. If my score is below 30, that's my target keyword competitiveness. So if I search for any keywords, the score needs to be less than 25, ideally 30, maybe. But watch what happens. When I add my domain here, it's going to update that score. There you go. Let me resize this window. There you go. There you go. So, See how right here, this the, the target keyword competitiveness is 42. So what this means is, if it's less than 30, the score of the keywords, I'm going to have a good chance of ranking. If it's less than 42, if it's between 35 to 42, it's going to be a little bit difficult, but I can still rank for those keywords. So that's why it's, it's, it's a good idea to add your, even though you can do your keyword research without adding the website or domain uh, link, but it's, it's always helpful to add your domain. All right, now let's do our research. So what I want to do is uh, click on related keywords and then add some seed keywords. So for example, I talk a lot about Facebook ads, Facebook marketing. So let me see. So our, let, I'm going to see if I can find some long tail, low competition keywords related to Facebook ads that I actually have a chance to rank for. And then the suggestions per keyword instead of 20, let's add like uh, 50 right here and then hit retrieve. So it's getting the idea or generating the keyword ideas. And here you go. A lot of interesting so ads, ads on Facebook, some green ones, Facebook ads company. So what I'm looking at is the average KC, which is the keyword competitive and the lower, the better. And to actually sort by this, I'm gonna click on this and now it's showing me the highest. If I cl click again, now it's showing me the lowest. So for example, Facebook ad company, that could be a really interesting keyword, 29. Facebook ad manager software, Facebook ads for agencies. Ooh, that's a good one too, 30. And right here, so based on this, if I have, if I pick a keyword that's 35 or below, I actually have a really good chance to get ranked for, for that keyword. And also, there's a lot of interesting data, the volume for the keyword, what's the bid, how much other people are paying, how many words that is, and the rank value, and then also the language is English, and then United States is my uh, location. Really, really interesting. And let's see how many keywords it actually found. So if I scroll down, it actually found 50 keywords for me. Now, here's something interesting we can do. So let's go back, and let's pick something that's a low... So Facebook sponsored ads. So this could be a really interesting keyword for me. And I do talk a lot about Facebook sponsored posts, Facebook sponsored ads. Uh, I can, if I create a content on this, look at the keyword, uh, how many people are searching for that, the volume, 1300. That's actually really, really good. Uh, also, Facebook ads for agencies. That's also a really good keyword. 
um, but not a lot of people are searching for that. So next step, what I do is I try to pick something that has a really uh, good search volume. So for example, it might be, actually this is a really good one. So Facebook ads cost 35. So let's say that key, that has a really, really good volume, 4,000, more than 4,000 people are searching for that. So what I'm gonna do is click on this right here and it's basically gonna go get another 20 suggestions from AdWords. So I'll click on that and it's searching for those keywords. And then let's see if I wanna Facebook ad pricing. Oh, a lot of people have uh, questions about pricing so I can, and also decent uh, search volumes. So I'll click on those two. And basically now, this tool is finding more keywords for me. Look at this. So it's still searching. It's page two. Let's see how many to, total. So we, we had 50 keywords and now we have 90 keywords, right? And let me sort by, it's already sorted by the keyword competition, the KC value. And now look at this. So I can start looking at some of this again. Optimized Facebook ad, oh my God, that's such a good keyword. And also decent, not a huge volume, but decent volume. Facebook marketplace ad, this was already there, I believe. How much does Facebook advertising cost? Ooh, golden. So this is these are the type of keyword, the long tail keywords that I was looking for. How much does Facebook advertising cost? That could be a really good keyword because a lot of people who want to hire agencies for Facebook ads, they want to know how much is it going to cost, you know, as far as the money that they pay Facebook and also the service charge or the service fee they pay to the agencies. And I can, you know, from here, I can start uh, making a list of these items. How much do Facebook ads cost? It's very similar. And see, let's see. So, Right here, I can also again click on, actually instead of that, because that keyword only has a search volume of 260, I'll pick this keyword, because they have the same KC score, but this one had a lot more search volume. So I'm gonna uh, let this tool give me even more suggestions. So I'll click on this, and now we're gonna have even more suggestions. Look at this. Facebook retargeting ads, let's, uh, oh here you go, it's, it's still getting these data. There you go. Oh, look at this. So how much should should you spend on Facebook ads? That's a really, even though that's a very low, uh, 50 people searching for that, the, the volume is low, but that's a really, really interesting keyword. How much are Facebook ads? So it seems like there's a lot of people are curious about how much the cost of Facebook ads. That's a, a common theme that I'm, uh, I'm finding from this quick research. There you go. So this is how you're able to find the keyword. And obviously what I'll do from this standpoint, from here, here on, I'll start making a list of these and maybe uh, you know save these. Or maybe if you're creating content, then you get to create content. Or if you have a content writer or if you outsource content creation, then you can give these keywords to your content team. Here's one other thing which is really, really uh, interesting. So let's say, let's pick a keyword right here. So how much do Facebook ads cost? So when I click on that keyword, all right, now look at this uh, page right here. A lot more data about that keyword. Uh, first of all, obviously the average keyword KC score, 35. What's the target between, you know, uh, less than 35 is easy to rank. If it's between 35 to 42, it's gonna be a little bit competitive, but still possible. And then also the Google uh, results, 100% organic, good to know. And then if you scroll down right here, here are all the people who are ranking right now on the first page. So the goal is obviously to identify, can you realistically beat these people with your domain, with your content? You know, one other thing, like one thing I like to do here is open all of these up in separate tabs and then look at their content, like how much content, how long the post is, uh, how much uh, visuals, the images, the video they're using. So there's a lot of data here that you can use, but hopefully you can see in just a matter of few seconds, we're able to find low competition, long tail keywords, 
uh, using this tool called Long Tail Pro. That's the power of this keyword research tool. And again, the description in the description below, I'm going to have my link that you can use to uh, check it out. And yes, that is an affiliate link. You can feel free to use that. Or if you want to just go directly to their website, you can do that as well. Thank you so much for watching. This is how you find low competition and long tail keywords for your SEO, for your ranking on Google. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Leave those questions below in the comments. Before you go, subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.